Hello everyone and welcome. Today we are talking about small things that are going to improve your filmmaking craft. Not severely, but at least a little bit. Some of them are really obvious, some of them are not, and we are going to start with the most obvious one, and it is a phone. A phone is a really interesting thing. It is still in our time, and yet it is a very useful tool when it comes to filmmaking. First, I can remotely control my camera, not this one, but that one, anyways. I can remotely control my light, and second light, and third light, all of the lights that I have I can control remotely. And the most important thing when it comes to a phone is the note taking, trust me, filmmaking ideas will come to you when they least expect it. During a walk, during a run, when you're falling uh, asleep, it's going to come when you are not ready. And if you decide not to take a note, you're going to forget it. There is like a dozen ideas that I've forgotten because I didn't take those notes. So trust me, if you've got an idea, write it down using a phone. It is a perfect tool for that. There is like a lot of apps that will facilitate you and that will make your uh, filmmaking craft much easier, but I do not use any of those. Anyways, let's move to the old brother of the phone and it is a tablet. Whether it is an iPad like in here or any other tablet, it is a perfect tool for drawing, sketching and writing. That's the perfect thing because we all write scripts. We all need to perfect that craft and that tool is a perfect thing for that. I would suggest using an Apple Pencil or the third item on our list is a Bluetooth keyboard. In this particular instance it is Logitech Key 380 which is like the best Bluetooth keyboard I've ever seen. And those devices, whether it is an Apple Pencil or a keyboard, they're going to make it much easier for you to make those notes because making notes with a virtual keyboard is not really doable and buying a keyboard from Apple is too expensive at no and it's, it's not worth it. This keyboard can connect to three separate devices. For example, in my case it is for an iPad, for a laptop and for my computer. You can switch between them and you can write whatever you want. It's going to make your life much, much easier because let's be honest, writing scripts is really difficult. And if it is anything that's standing between you and writing that script, it's going to stop you from doing that. Because there, are, there are a lot of things that are going to stop you from doing that. Let's not add another one. Really, really recommend purchasing a keyboard. Now a gun. So, another item on the list is this rubberized ring. If you're using a cine lens, this little thing is already in there, you do not really need that one. But let's be honest, most of us were using photo lenses, because photo lenses are cheaper, it is easier to get them. So if you're using a manual focus, and I really, really hope you do, because autofocus is not, it's not great for filmmaking, you need to buy one of these. When you buy a manual focus, one of these will come with the manual focus ring, but they typically have like a zip tie connection, and that zip tie part is going to interfere with this whole rotation thing. This one is uh, round without any like, protrusion, without any problem, so it's going to rotate 360 and do not interfere with your focus and motion. So this is perfect. And the last one, I took this from a YouTube channel which is called uh, Booth Junkie. I cannot recommend this channel enough. This channel is, is an absolute perfect thing if you want to get into voiceover or if you are interested in mic, mic reviews. Check, check this out, the link will be in the description. So this is a typical dog clicker. This dog clicker is typically used to train dogs, like some tricks, I have no idea, I do not have a dog. But for a filmmaker, if you're doing some sort of a voiceover, it is a perfect thing to correct mistakes. You do one take, make a mistake, do this. Now there is a peak on your waveform and you can easily find that and not waste your time. And when your voiceover is just like 10 minutes, 20 minutes, you can do without that easily. But if your voiceover is hour, two, three, maybe it's an audiobook, you're gonna drive yourself insane without this tool. So I really recommend that and it is 
a really, really cheap device, but it's going to make your life much easier. So that's it. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope some of those things were useful to you. Yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye.